What's up guys, this is Rixalite signing in and welcome back to Deadly Premonition. Now we can actually enter this new building that we're here to. George is there, and I need to go there, so do I meet- do I talk to George here then? Because I'm here for it. Ah, that music. What are you playing at? You tell us to come here, and you keep us waiting. Is this the way the FBI treats their own people? Hello, George. I just had some things I had to do. You really are pushing it, you know that? I'm sorry if I upset you, but it was important stuff. To me, at least. That isn't the issue here. We are in the middle of a homicide investigation. He's not listening, George. I think we both know by now how little he thinks of other people's feelings. I'll be more careful from now on. I promise. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. It's what everyone calls me. So the same thing all and the time. And you are Jim Green? That I am, son. I keep these woods. Jim Green. No, oh, looks like a freaking Texan redneck. Well, you're doing no offense to those now. Texans out there. Well, it's I used to be a tree surgeon. Those dirty rednecks. And these two discovered the body. Yes, my grandchildren, Isaac and Isaiah. They were in my dream. Zach, you see that? Twins. Just like in my dream. We gotta keep an eye on these two. Yes, we do. I'm sorry. Could we talk away from the boys? That's fine I by me. I want to help your investigation, but I don't want them to hear this. They Very saw well. a murder. Emily. No, they saw a dead body. I'll just body. take them over there, then. Thank you. Go on, Catwoman. Hold on. Don't do anything without asking me. These children were the first to witness the crime scene. I want to talk to them. Come on, they're just kids. They have no idea what really happened to Anna. <laughs> I was that doesn't matter. You agree with me, right, Zach? I think you should keep... Heartless. Do you ever think of other people's feelings, ever? Fucking Emily's no. Right. Have you met me? <laughs> Even for the sake of investigation, children see things in pure, simple terms. They may have seen something we adults would never spot, and they are here at our request as well. That's true. We could at least chat with them and see if they want to make a statement. They're just kids. Are you serious? I never joke about matters like this. It is a serial medication. and kids could help a lot because they don't oh really God. like- Don't that fucking creepy smile again. Don't worry. They aren't as fragile as you think. Look at them, standing so upright there. They know a lot of things because they're related to this. Oh, why would I have to be like this? Now then, Isaac, Isaiah, tell me. What did you find here? Anna, she was so pretty. She Anna! She had a red dress on. Her hair was shining. Bright gold hair. Goldilocks. There were lots of animals around her. Snow White. Squirrel, weasel, and a snake. A real snake. You don't need to shout at me, child. Until then. I'm only we here. Know now. Anna was the fairy of the forest. She was a goddess. She smiled when she saw us. She looked so happy. That's right, Isaac. Isaiah. She was a fairy, a goddess. I'm sure she is playing with those animals even now. Of course she is. Yeah, of course. So confused. Most useful information, boys. Well, Emily, you can take them now. You didn't even learn anything. Oh, not now. Okay, Zach. This is where Anna's body was. And that means our unsub. Our unknown subject was here too. So I like it, unsub. I like it. Here? I like it. That's a new word and I like that. Unknown sub subject. Unsub. Nice. Start the profiling then. Ah Get more of this bullshit going off then. Okay. I see now. I'm gonna read that as Anna, not Anna. Although it is American, so they probably see as Anna as that, and Hannah is H A N N A H. Would make more sense. Strange. Strange. 
Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. We will. We'll find those. I think we're going to find... How many do we need to find? It'll show me, right? Four. Okay, then. Zach, look. The depression's on the grass. I think we have a clue. Ooh. Two bent pieces of grass. Two bent pieces of grass. That's not how that works. Someone was stood there. What else have we seen then? What new is it? Oh, okay. Still more we need to find. Okay, George, we're not going to talk to you just yet. We need to see what can we see. Oh, there's a card over here. I'll go get it. Get this first. Go okay, we'll see what else we can see. Nope, no, 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 no. Where's the card then? I know it's here somewhere. No, oh, it's behind here. Maybe he says it's right there though. No idea. Have a look around if we can. There's another bone. That's peculiar. There is another bone. Well, got nothing else to break the freaking wood with, so I might as well whip out my gun if I can. Can good. Oh, I have infinite bullets in this. Well, that would have freaking made sense if I knew that beforehand. Well, the more you know. Now I know all I need to know. I wish I knew about that. I wish I actually looked. Then we'd be able to actually go somewhere with this. Maybe down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, okay, this is probably where the card's going to be, isn't it? No, apparently not. Okay. There's a bone somewhere near here. I want to fucking find the damn thing. Might be another victim. Oh, I need to report it to someone, don't I? It's two. Okay. But I think we want infinity bullets. Infinity? Unlimited bullets in this fucking gun. Can of pickles. Don't really need them. Every time it loads up the first can, it always seems a bit laggy. For no reason whatsoever. Could it be in this fence? Is it possible to be in this fence? Yes, the vengeance. Oh, well, oh. must have just threw this wood or something, right? Okay. Oh, what's this? What is this? Try and take our time with this shot. Okay. Oh, hello, the card. Anna Graham. Is that who died? Well, it should be Anna, but you know game and all that crap. Okay, so there's this tree. Aha, uh -huh, there's something on the other side. Picture of a vest with holes. Strange. Very strange. Profile again. Guy at first like a child, and then it just turns into a more of an adulty girl for some reason. Don't get it. There's got to be more to see. Do I keep on going round and round and round? Is George something to do with this? Is there anything else I can see in this tree? Maybe in here, perhaps. Hello. I'll see you there. You're red, so that means you're important. I'm sure you are. Missing piece of pinheel shoe. 
Why was that in the in the nest though? That is the real question. That ah, wrong one. Okay, I've got three so far. Gotta keep on trying it just in, until we get the thing down. Until we get it down. Who's talking to her? Someone was behind her. So how did it... Why, how did that get into the tree though? So I'm still missing one more, and that's the blurry part I need to look for. Can I speak to George? As you requested, we have permission to stay and look around as needed. Okay. But what are you planning on doing? To examine the scene, of course. Basic Crime Investigation 101. We might uncover some further evidence. My men have covered this already. They I missed out three things already. Anything else to find. Well, then you and Emily can wait in the car, if that's the case. But I'll take my time here. Okay. Mm. There is one more. We'll look for every tree. Just in case. Because I don't want to miss absolutely anything. Obviously I can't leave yet until I've actually found the last piece. It could even be in this little shed. I don't want to go to sleep. I don't not want to go to sleep. Although I should have took a, took a nap. Get back. We're investigating some things. We won't need sleep. Take another can of pickles though while I'm at it. Why not? No idea what I'm looking for though, that's the thing. There is a bone, I want to find it. There's got to be something somewhere, surely. Like in the trees, maybe? Also, be over the fence. Now, this is probably a good view to see. Like right there, look. Okay, wait. There we go. <clears throat> Chip with rusted metal dust. Hmm. Well, all that's going to complete all those to it, too. What are you seeing, sir? I have I no idea what I've seen one of these in a long time. It's upside down. I guess this is meant to be an anti-peace sentiment then. Oh, it's the simple piece These something. holes on the ground were made by uh, high stiletto heels all around here. And this depression here, Agent Morgan, I see what happened here. You certainly have a vivid imagination. An interesting theory. Don't you think, Zach? What was his name again? That Hollywood producer. That's right. Joel. We really ought to introduce George to him, Zach. Profiling is a little different from writing a screenplay, though. An idea being interesting doesn't make it fact. Let me enlighten you, George. The footprints reveal that one of the heels were missing from the shoes. And they're different from Anna's shoes that we saw at the office. Furthermore, there would be even more disgusting evidence if he did kneel and, well, do as you suggested. If you want proof, go ahead and try it for yourself. He knelt here for a reason other than simple perversion. Zack, what was he doing in front of Anna? What was he doing? That's what I want to know. It's interesting this game though, I like it. Pretty good. Really good. What? 
Oh, the music! Love now that music. I get it. That better be the fucking outro sequence. You need to pray in front of her. Just like the twins said, she was a goddess. Hmm. The unsub, our unknown subject, offered prayers to her on his body. It's bitten out the tongue, massive body wound. Once dead Anna was transformed from an object of despite into one of worship. Cool. So who is Miss Stiletto Heels? The steps are close coming up to the body and then farther apart going away. There was a reason to hurry away then. That settles it then, George. Miss Stiletto Heels is a third party here. She's not the murderer. No one runs away from an object of worship. So what is this then? She could be another victim who was with Anna. We can hope so. Or perhaps an accomplice who fled for some reason. She is also one who took whatever it was Anna was holding on to in her hand. But why? Why did she leave her here? Didn't need the body. Only Miss Stiletto Heels knows the reason for that. As we she all, might as know as something about the man with the reversed peace mark, too. How many women wear high stiletto heels in this town, do you think? Oh, I should think most of them have at least one pair. I do, too, before you ask. But nobody would come all the way out here wearing them, except, well, except maybe one person. We'll go see her, then. I like how you just come with a book. In Don't pre-hand. keep me in the dark, then. Who might this elegant lady be? Diane, the owner of the art gallery. But she's out of town for a big art auction. Ah! I heard she'll be coming back in a couple days. Understand what's going off now, then? Maybe, maybe. Then we'll just have to the get art her gallery a person. <clears throat> a more Once a dead, dead. Then. Take a picture Where as you do. In town, can you find something like this? It should be a building that isn't used anymore, with either a lot of metal or metal machinery or something like that. It's not used The anymore. old lumber mill. That's where we're going next, then. Then it's time to really get this show on the road. Could you guide me to this perfect setting for extravagant murder? So the tree is the place of worship? I assume so. Really do. Total time. Number of days, just the one day. Enemies defeated 49 and number of continues none so far. I'm doing well. Okay, fucking loaded. Still need to try and see if that gun place has opened up. Need the gun. The <laughs> is vid games. Far from here. Vid games. If that's where she was Love killed. It. Why would the killer go to all the trouble of carrying her all the way here? I don't know yet. My profiling instincts tell me one thing is for sure, though. The unsub's personality is totally different before and after the crime. The unsub Maybe. killed her in a brutal, horrifying way, and then displays powerful adoration after she's dead. Something close to love. A necrophilia? Could well, be the key to all this. I will say this, though, George. Profiling is a risky business. How is it? Of course, it? if the unsub planted those stiletto footprints himself, well, then. Everything I've just said falls apart. But there's no That's evidence true. that he left those stiletto footprints. I'm sure we have Miss Stiletto Heels to thank for those tracks. All I can do is deduce the unsub's feelings in light of the evidence, and carefully figure the unsub's M.O. Modus operandi, his way of thinking. It usually unveils oh. something that a normal forensic analysis may overlook. That's my way of profiling. It's not for everyone, but it works for me. That's all that matters. So, wow, the murder site. That's where we're going next, is it? We'll get there then. And we can leave in a desperate haste. Limit. No limit. Midnight to midnight. So it's just constant. That's good. So we can drive around town a little bit more. Maybe find some more bones. There is a bone somewhere around here that I want to look at. I need to be careful with these flashlights. Or the lightning, at least. When I first joined the force, this lumber mill was still in force. At least we've got a new talk on this conversation right now. When I first moved here. And now it's totally abandoned. 
I presume so. I've never really been inside, so I don't know for sure, but it sure is run down. Deserted buildings. Wait, wait, wait calm down, Kyle. Activities. I keep telling Harry to have the place torn down. Probably a little late for that. After all, it's already been used as the site of Anna's murder. Anna? I don't know that for sure yet, Agent Morgan. But that's right from your point of view. But the perpetrator selected... Stop! 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 Agent York, you seem very confident about this. Confident? No. There we go. Confidence is a sweet spot between being rude and hopeless. I like how we've got unlimited things at this point. From the facts That's that quite fun. That sounds exactly like being full of confidence, at least to me. That's to and you, though. to normal people with common sense. Common sense can be the opposite of facts sometimes. Would like a better car. Oh, I Not will, a fan of this York. One. Thank you for another pearl of wisdom. Either way, we'll know for sure by simply going to the to lumber mill. A sharp ass so turn. Keep your pearls of wisdom to yourself, and let's hurry. Well said, George. Can you step on it, Agent York? I will try to if I can turn around this car and area without breaking my car. Not the best driver in the world, as we both know. I try and do my best. Still need to go to the gun shop to find a shotgun. As well, what the fuck is this? I can't get out, but I want to get out. But I want to get out. Mm -hmm. All right. We need to remember where this is so we can look at it later. It's like a little freaking magnifying glass, by the looks. Of it. Oh, I hate it. <clears throat> Really interested to see what how this game game turns out. How am I supposed to get down there then? Do I have to do a gay ass U-turn somewhere? I oh, know mind, there'll probably be a bend up here, isn't there? There's a b fucking car, stop turning on your side. Oh now I can get out, no I can't. Okay, but I know it's along this road anyway when we come back out, so. I need to remember this. Ow. For fuck's sake. Okay. That's where we're going. I can't get out to fucking save it. God damn it. I hate when games don't let you save. I'll drive down this fucking alleyway as well. Oh wait, never mind. No, do I? Do I have to drive along the thing? I'm not very good at driving game. What? Oh, okay, I see. I was going the right way. It's just fucking stupid maneuverability in this bullshit. Like to turn. Very fucking melodically let's go and find out if your facts can be trusted my You're facts are always trusted confidence right let's get to the lumber mill i'm trying to get there but the fucking road's stupid I'm not a fan of the road all right let's get it to go we're going to end it when we get to a save point so. i'm going in alone you two stay here I can't concentrate on profiling with other people around me. Now hold on a minute. We're investigating this case together. Listen, I can't risk the crime scene being compromised by you two. What are you saying? You're not the only professional law enforcement officer here, Agent Morgan. We know how to secure a crime scene. I'm sorry. That was rude of me. But this is how I operate. Furthermore... Yes? Furthermore what? To me, the outsider FBI agent, every citizen of this town is a suspect. You two could be in on this whole thing for all I know. I have to keep suspects out of the crime scene. How can you say such a thing? Is he making fun of us? We should have left him behind and come here by ourselves. You're right. I've never been so insulted. I'm sorry, but I'm just doing my job. Finally, be able to do something. Can old fifth? Why did you just say just sixteen bullets instead of fifteen plus one bullet? Did you hear that?
that, Zack? If they're pros, then we should let every first-person shooter gamer out there join the SWAT team. Oh, I wasn't ready for this bit already. Zack, they're here. Okay, we can leave this for tomorrow then, can't we? Right then, so, I'm going to have to leave that there for today with Deadly Premonition. And I shall leave you with... I actually don't know what to leave you with today. I've just got nothing in my head. Nothing came in my head. That's all. No idea. You know what? First song that comes to my head, I'll just put down a song randomly. No idea what it's going to be yet. So anyway, I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye! I don't need no other purpose.